What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a little while since we've had a BIOS update from Lenovo for the Legion Go. I believe I was still on version 35 here and we've got a new version 37 out for the device. It's not showing up in Legion space yet. It's on the website and we'll take a look at that in a minute. There doesn't seem to be any major changes or big cause to update to the BIOS, but I do tend to always run the newest BIOS on the device. And since I haven't done it in a while, I figured I'd make a new guide on how to do it. Now over here on the website, you can see that it is up and listed now, the new uh, version 37 here, and a few summary of changes listed in here that, uh, again, I don't think there's anything major, but obviously some tweaks, and I think something in here for some dock compatibility or maybe work, having it work better with some docking. Checking for the updates here in Legion Space, though, this update doesn't show up yet. It shows my current 35WW version here. It doesn't have the update. So if you want to wait, if you're more comfortable waiting for space, you can do that. I usually just go on the website, though, when these are released and I update the device. So I'm going to go ahead and get over to my quick access menu, the question mark, and online support. Then once that loads in, I'm going to go here to PC, detect product. This is just a quick and easy way to get over to the support page. There's plenty of other ways to find it, but we'll do detect again right here. And then it should bring me over to the Legion Go support page. From here, we're going to go to drivers and software, and then we're going to go to the manual update select drivers. Now, this is where all of our drivers are at. You can always check for updates, but we're going to go to BIOS since that's what we want here. And you'll see the new 37WW listed here. Just released Feb uh, February 14th, 2025 here. So we'll download that real quick. Close out of the browser open up to our downloads folder before we start that though we are going to plug in make sure you're plugged into a power source your power brick or whatever the case is make sure you are into a power supply and we're going to go ahead and open this up click yes and we're going to let it do its own extract and install there we go we can go ahead and close out of our downloads folder and let it finish its process and then it's going to do a restart on its own and then it's going to have a couple of restarts and install processes from there so it says proceed with bios update now and again if this isn't something you're comfortable with just don't get into it you don't necessarily have to update right now but again i want to make a guide for it it's been a while i was updating anyway but yeah make sure you're plugged into power don't ever turn it off or shut it off or do anything like that you want this to finish its process so we'll go ahead and let it finish up here it's going to go ahead and go into a restart and then you're going to get a progress bar like this once it restarts. Now, restart can take a little bit of time, so be patient with it. But once it finishes this bar, it's going to restart again. It took me about four to five minutes of a black screen before it finally came back here to finish the BIOS update. So again, this time can vary for everybody. Just be patient with it and wait for everything to come back for you here. So now we'll get to 100%, and then it's going to go ahead and restart the device for me and get me back into the desktop. So I'll go ahead and log in here. And now we are updated to the new BIOS. It's pretty quick and easy, but I know not everybody's comfortable with messing with it. And again, you wouldn't necessarily have to update the BIOS. I don't think there's any major changes. I haven't found anything here, but looking for updates again here in Legion Space, you'll see I'm now on that new 37WW BIOS update on the Legion Go. And for me, Legion Space has been fine. I know these BIOS updates can mess around with custom TDP, thermals, all kinds of things like that. So far, my testing, jumping in and out of a few games, playing with Legion Space, playing with my custom settings and all that, I haven't had anything interrupted or any problems. And game performance and thermals in general seem to be spot on for what I was already getting on version 35. So for me, I'm not really seeing any major changes, but I'm not seeing anything broken either. So any kind of tweaks or updates here um, you know that they have done, I'm going to be able to take advantage of, but I'm not noticing anything major here. But anyways, guys, that's the BIOS update for the Legion Go. Hopefully that helps you get it installed if you do choose to do so or wait for Legion Space and you can do it through that way. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one.